Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Mehawashai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. The blunders unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We are learning this truth. Shalom to the Akiam, pushing this truth in our sincerity and our honesty. Basically, you know, um, coming to do a lesson, you know, because, you know, there's talks about, you know, Trump, you know, wanting to bring back the guillotines, you know, um, and, you know, we know that the guillotines are going to come back because according to the scriptures, right, you know, some of the men of the Lord are going to get their heads chopped off, okay, um, you know, for staying loyal in essence, you know, and in, for enduring, you know, for, you know, um, you know, not doing what they want us to do. Okay. You know, so, um, the gay teens are going to come back. You know, it's Bible prophecy. We know what's happening. Okay. So I'm going to read this article and it says, Trump reportedly wants to bring back firing squad, guillotine and mass execution, mass executions. And this was, um, you know, published on, you know, February 15, 2023, which is like just the other day. Okay. And it says former president. Okay. It says former president Donald Trump. Um, former President Donald Trump has been discussing the return of firing squads and guillotines and whether to use them as part of his ad campaign for a potential run at the presidency, according to a published report. Okay, so apparently Donald Trump want to bring back, you know, firing squads and guillotines. And really and truly, we know through the spirit of Pavel Haobashi Melshai who the guillotines are for what they are for, really and truly, you know. They say they want to bring it back, you know, and we know why they want to bring it back, okay. It says, Rolling Stone, citing three anonymous sources, reports Trump has one more than, has on more than one occasion asked his aides about firing squads. Two of the sources said Trump has had discussions about from bringing back group executions and the use of a guillotine. Um, it says here, the former president believes this would help put the fear of God into violent criminals. He wanted to do some of these things when he was in office, but for whatever reason, didn't have the chance. And we know, okay, before I even say what I'm going to say, here it says, however, a Trump spokesperson told the insider that the ad comp campaign featuring televised executions is ridiculous and fake news whether or not they're saying you know the guillotines coming back is fake news if that's what they're saying that's wrong okay because we know through the scriptures that it's going to come back okay and i'll prove it um by getting um Revelation um, um, Revelation 12 okay this is revelation this is revelation 12 verses 12 says therefore rejoice ye heavens and he that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth he has but a short time. So, okay, the devil is talking about Esau Edom and they know they have a short time, you know. They know they have a short time and they're trying to do all they can, okay, to, um, you know, prevent the end of their kingdom. To they're trying to do all they can to extend you know, their rulership by bringing out their new world order, their one world government world system, right? Bringing out their micro C hip, right? Revelation 13 verses 16, okay? 
And that's what they want to do. They want to bring out their micro C hip, right? And make it mandatory for everyone throughout the earth to take it. Okay. But yeah, the most high, Yahweh, the name of the Heavenly Father, who everybody ignorantly called Jesus, and Salakia, who everybody ignorantly called God, his name is Yahweh in the Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai, who everybody ignorantly called Jesus, okay? Okay, his name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, okay, Yahweh Bashim El Shai, okay, I've put the spirit on some of the his men of the Lord, okay, some of the elect, okay? The Most High is going to put the Spirit on some of the elect to not take their micro C hip to Revelation 13 verse 16. That they're mandatory going to push, right, for all that dwell on the earth to take it. And then what they're going to do? That's where the guillotines are going to come in, right? That's that's where the guillotines are, coming, are going to come in, okay? And how they're going to do it? Let me read Revelation. Uh, Revelation. Um, okay, Revelation twenty, Revelation two verse ten. Okay, this is a Revelation two verses ten. It says, um, "Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer." Okay, so the scriptures here is letting us know that, that the elect are going to suffer, you know. The elect are going to go through some stuff, you know. When all hell breaks loose, when um, when they start coming down on us with great wrath, the scripture that I just read, okay. He said, Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, these prisons are talking about concentration camps, man, the FEMA camps, man. And why? Because some of the elect are not going to, you know, I'm not going to take their, their MOTB, you know, their C-HIP. Revelation 13, verse 16, you can read that for yourself, you know. Some of the elect aren't going to be, are not going to be a part of their, the elect are not going to be a part of their world order, you know, the one world government system. So some of the elect are going to get put to death for this. And and this is going to be used, you know, um, by putting them into concentration camps. The devil shall cast some of you into prison, that he may be tried and have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Now, that's where the guillotine comes in, okay? Because those that, you know, refuse to be a part of Esau Eden system, you know, what I just spoke about, right, they're going to get put to death for it. But the Most High is going to put that spirit upon him to take death willfully, okay? And they that they, they that you know put their lives on the line through the spirit of Papi Haba Shimel Shai, right? For the truth, you know, for um righteousness, okay, they shall be crowned in the kingdom. Uh, okay, um there's another priest I'm gonna get, you know, that you know coincides with this. Um let's see beheaded. Okay, this is um, Revelation 20, verses 4. And it says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. Now, this is John the Revelator saying what he, what he sees in this vision. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. Okay? So some of the elect are going to be beheaded for Yahweh Shai, for the truth. Okay? For um, staying righteous. Okay? And what... What um tool is used for beheading? The guillotines. So that's what they're gonna use to behead, you know, some of the men of the elect. Okay, it says, and for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, either of his image, neither had his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Okay, so those that get beheaded, the most are gonna put the spirit upon them to to you know not worship the the beast, the beast system. You know, not, not taking the, the sea hip, okay? And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai Mashiach a thousand years, okay? So, they are going to be some of the elect beheaded for the truth. That is why, if he, if Trump is the one that's bringing by the guillotines for real, 
because they are coming back whether people want to accept it or not they put they probably here already who knows but even if trump is the one bringing it back it's gonna come back if it's not him bringing it back somebody else is gonna bring it back regardless because that is what's gonna happen okay this is prophecy okay um i'm gonna get another precept uh, uh, time. Yeah, this is um second edges nine verses one and he answered me then and said measure that measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest pass of the signs past which i told thee before then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made okay so we were instructed to measure the time dil diligently man okay and that's what the men of the lord are doing now so when we see things like guillotines coming back we understand that hey guillotines are coming back for prophecies that are for prophecies that are going to happen so we understand that hey we're close to that okay is, is by measuring the time diligently, the men of the Lord are coming out and making videos about what, what these guillotines been coming back, things that they're talking about. You know, the things that they're talking about bringing guillotines and firing squads, but the guillotines are for the men of the Lord, man. Because this prophecy, is that's mainly what they're for. That's mainly why they're coming back, for those that don't want to take the micro C hip. Revelation 13 verses 16, I will understand only the elect will not take it, okay? Only the elect will, will reject it through the spirit and power of your heart, because it's not going to be by their will. It's the most high putting the spirit upon them to do that, okay? So we understand what time it is. We understand that your is coming back soon, okay? We understand that this kingdom is about to come to an end soon because of the things that's happening in the news and in the thing. That's why it's very good you know, to look in the news and see what's going on, measure out the time diligently, you know, because we're in a time now, okay, where all hell is going to break loose and if we're not, you know, seeing what's going on in the world, you know, it was going to catch us off guard and that's what the men of the Lord are doing, you know, they're being a watchman, you know, watching and warning the nation of Israel, man, you know, that's what it's all about. That is what it is all about, man. You know, uh, there was another precept that came to my mind, but it slipped my mind. Um, uh, this is a precept I wanted to get. Uh, Habakkuk 2, verse 3, it says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay, so the vision, example, the vision that John the Revelator was seeing, well, that I was reading in Revelation, you know, the one with the guillotines, the concentration camp, talking about prisons, you know, um, the devil coming down, having great wrath. All those visions is yet for an appointed time. But the end, but at the end, it shall speak and not lie. So even though it's not happening, a lot of people may say, you know, you're talking rubbish. That's a lie. It's not going to happen. But it says, but at the end, it shall speak. So it will happen. Okay. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come it will not tarry. So even though it's not happening yet, don't think it's not going to happen. Expect it to happen because it will happen. Okay? So example, the visions that John the Revelator had in Revelation talking about, you know, the theme, uh, them, them, the camps, the prisons, and, you know, being some of them, um, the elect getting their heads chopped off for the truth and the devil coming down having great wrath. Okay? That is for an appointed time and it will happen. Okay? Um, look at the word tarry, to linger, tarry, wait, delay. So even though, right, it's not happening, yet, it's lingering, it's waiting, don't mean it's not happening, it's going to happen, right? We're measuring the time diligently and we see that it's going to happen by measuring the time diligently. You know, I just, quick, quick commentary, you know, I wanted to do on, you know, this topic of conversation that's going around, you know, with the guillotines and so on. This is the most high's plan. This is how Bashing Al-Shah's plan. The Bible was written way before these men even thought about thinking that they want to do these things because the most high Yahweh Bashing al is in control. You know? Most high is in control, man. 
So these are the things the men of the Lord are expecting to happen. And through faith, right, we hope Yahweh Shemash have put the spirit upon us to endure to the end. You know, pray for mercy and strive to the best of our ability, you know, to do the will of the Lord and live a righteous life to the best of our ability. And hoping the Lord will have mercy upon us. Because mercy, the Lord's mercy is what's going to deliver us from the guillotines, from, you know, Jacob's trouble, you know, from the destruction. You know, where were we? Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I hope it was edifying. You know, I didn't want to make it long. I just wanted to make a commentary about it. So with that, I'm going to say our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Yahushai, and I will learn as unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. That's the doctrine I follow. That's where I'm learning the truth. Until next time, I'm going to say Shalom.